WNDS Sports and Flat State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. Thanks for sharing part of it with us. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy, and uh, we are set to go. We have had two terrific matches these last two weeks, and uh, Dan Broder and Neil Goslin have returned to take on two new challengers. Yes, two veterans coming back with two brand-new uh, bowlers to uh, either show on Stars and Strikes, and uh, it's going to take a lot to top the last two weeks. All right, let's uh, check our rules here on Candlepin Skins keep you up to date or in case you're new to the program we have four bowlers they compete individually here on candlepin skins one box at a time the uh, dollar value of each box is determined or the winning is determined by the high score in each box and uh, if the high score is duplicated by more than two bowlers or two or more bowlers I should say it carries over and then the dollar value accumulates the top two in total pinfall will return the following week here are those dollar values in each game we roll two games here on candlepin skins first three boxes are worth ten dollars each the next three fifteen Boxes 7, 8, and 9 are worth $25 each, and then the 10th box is worth $50. As we mentioned a moment ago, we have Neil Gosselin and we have... Uh, right, we have Neil Gosselin and we have Dan Broder returning. Neil for his third week in a row, and Dan Broder for his second week in a row, and they will be joined by two newcomers, as you mentioned, Dan, uh, Rich Hallberg and Leo Gendro. Yes, two uh, pretty good Canopin bowlers. They're good enough to make the show anyways, and... Uh, they're here to make a mark for themselves. All right, we will take a break and start the bowling here on Candlepin Skins at the Londonderry Bowling Center. Don't go away, we're coming right back. All right, the bowlers wishing each other well here. We're about set to get underway and Leo Gendro, Rich Hallberg will take the lanes first, the uh, two newcomers here to the wins. We will look at Leo Gendro first. Just catching the head pin and he leaves the 3-9. Stick around, Wood. Rich Hallberg. First box worth ten dollars. And it's still there. An eight box for Leo. All right, the first, the first away. Right. And likewise for Rich. So now our two uh, returning bowlers from last week take the approach. Dan Broder will throw first. Pocket hit, drops nine. Everything but that five pin. Let's see where the wood settles down. Neil Goslin will have a tough shot, so Dan Broder in the driver's seat here for the skin. No. Driver's seat now belongs to Neil. <laughs> we can convert this for a spare. Nope. Well, these two will decide it. <laughs> two nines up there. Beats the two eights. There's one ten. And there's the other ten. So it's a carryover. And the second box will be worth $20. Carryover? Right. There we go. That's how we do it. That's how it works here on Candlepin Skins. Rich Hallberg, first appearance. Rich works at the Bank of Boston. Making the drive up from Quincy, South Shore, to be with us. Leo off target to the left. Four horsemen plus the eight and nine pins. And look at this. Well, a great effort by Rich. Good try is right. 
The Ogendro also just missing. Rich waiting for the wood to settle. I don't think ultimately it's going to affect the shot. Using it as a guide, and he goes right through. And that'll be a 10 for Rich and a 9 for Leo Gendro. So still looking for our first mark. Quick reminder while I think of it that uh, tomorrow at noon, our championship match on Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Park Place Lanes over in Wyndham. As Neil Goslin with a nine drop. It'll be our number two seed, John Plant, against our number one seed, Paul Berger. A familiar name, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of him. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Neil misses. Chance for Dan to steal it, and he does. Dan Broder gets the first mark and the first skin. That one a carryover worth $20, and Neil will take the nine box. So a $20 skin for Dan Broder. As he breaks the ice. <laughs> well, the second game, right? Leo Gendro now. Leo from Lowell. That's right. Leo and his wife, Doris, have four children, Arthur, Diane, Joanne, and Michael. Leo works for Howard Clock Products as a quality control manager. Rich Hallberg leads the diamond. Leo does a lot of his bowling uh, here at the London Dairy Bowling Center, so... Home court advantage. Oh, didn't do him any good there, though, did it? <laughs> nice drive. I'm sure he wanted to go a little farther left, but he almost converted it anyways. And Rich slides by the three pin in his attempt for a spare. Leo converts the 10. Rich takes nine. They're even, 27 apiece through three. Let's watch Leo Gendro's spare ball. It stays around a long time. Boy, it just slipped right by the <laughs> ten pin in the channel. Dan Broder will fill the spare, and he'll have the rise. He does have the early lead. Oh, big nine drop. Neil Goslin, a little heavy on the pocket. Just couldn't get that six pin out of there. Oh, Dan held on to that one. Well, Leo Gendro's ten is good right now. Oh, Neil gave it a great run. Leaves the six pin. Two chances to have the box, and there it is. So this box will carry over. And the fourth box will be worth $25. And that one mark is the difference right now for Dan Broder. He has the lead. Missy, missy here. Rich Hallberg, big first ball, leading to 10. And Leo Gendro will have something to shoot at also. And that being the one and nine pins, a piece of wood in between should help. Rich Hallberg has the mark, his first. Shot, Rich. Pretty. And Leo Gendro has his, his first mark. So a couple of spares up on the board. Dan Broder and Neil Goslin will take a crack at it. Neil first. Mixing. Still mixing. And we will have another carryover. Neil looking for his first mark. Got a good chance with a 5-10. Yep. Lots of wood in between. Dan Broder has to make a shot. Can't quite pull it off. Box number five will be worth $40. Ten box for Dan. So he's the only one that doesn't mark here in the fourth. And that should bring everybody that much closer. Leo first on the mark, 37 through four plus the bonus. Full, just five. 
Mitch Hallberg in the pocket. Look out. Oh, how did the six pin stay up? Two in a row for Rich Hallberg. Two in a row it is. And the eight box for Leo Gendro. He's at 50 through five. Advantage Rich Hallberg with a spare in the second. I mean in the fifth. <laughs> second bowler. Fifth frame. Dan Broder needs a strike. Take over the lead for the skin. Not going to happen. Has a spare leave though. Neil Goslin. And oh. he will have a spare leave also. <laughs> Dan can't hit. This to carry over the skin, and he does. Great shot for Neil Gosselin, threading the needle there. He had a piece of wood on the lane and another piece in the channel. A 10 for Dan Broder, a very, very close match here, again, through the first five boxes, and we will have a carryover worth $55 in our sixth box when we come back in a minute. Big fill for Rich Hallberg on the spear. Another nine drop. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. just one pin knocked out by Leo Gendro. Rich going for three in a row, and he's got it. This is a $55 carryover skin here in the sixth. Seven box for Leo Gendro. So Rich Hallberg is the hot bowler right now with three marks in a row. And he may take the lead, depending on what Neil Gosselin does. Well, Neil's got another spare leave. Dan uh, has a little more difficult one in the three, four, and six. There's another carryover as Neil Goslin gets his third mark in a row. Nothing doing for Dan Broder. So this box will also carry over. Eight for Dan. And this seventh box will now be worth $80. Neo Gendro, a little full, but he got away with it. And he'll shoot at the 4-7. Make it just the 4, <laughs> as the 7-pin just kicked out late. Rich Hallberg, three marks in a row. A little off target that time. 5 fill. Neo Gendro converts. Rich streak of marks will stop at three. And he's got 88 through seven boxes. All right, the spare for Leo Gendro is good right now, and this is an $80 skin here in the seventh. And look out, look out. Dan Broder will have a single. Neil could win it outright with a strike. No. This could be for the carryover right here for Dan Broder. Because Neil doesn't have much of a shot, I don't believe. And he oh. misfired. Well, that might have just put $80 in Leo Gendro's pocket. It did. 
$80 for Leo Gendro. He gets on the board. And two nine boxes. The scores still very close. Right now, the low man is uh, Leo, but he's working on a spare. But you'll fill that, and he'll pull himself a lot closer. This is Rich Hallberg dropping eight. Now Leo for the fill. Six. Uh, make it seven. Beg your pardon. Oh, Rich gets the spare off the wall. Never a doubt, Rich. Never a doubt. Leo for a spare. Oh, it cost him. I thought that was never a doubt, No luck at all. This is a $25 skin now in the eighth. Good stick. Ten bucks for Leo Gendro. Let's see what happened on his spare attempt on the triangle. Right around the five pin. Well, it'll take a spare to have the skin. Dan Broder has the best shot at it. Neil Goslin first. And look at that, he almost converted it. Dan's got a tough piece of wood out in front of that six and nine. Nope. So Rich Hallberg gets a $25 skin, his first. Ten box for Neil. Nine box for Dan Broder. So through eight, still very, very tight here with the mark to fill Rich Hallberg would figure to have the lead. Leo Gendro will fire first on lane 30. This again is a $25 skin. And there's oh, big strike. First strike of the match for anybody. And that's just a three fill on the spare for Rich Hallberg. Leaving him tied for the lead with Neil Gossett. Almost converts. Nine box. One, 110 now for Rich through nine. You see Leo tripping the six pin for the strike. So a strike to have it. Otherwise, Leo wins another skin. Oh, look out. Dan oh. Broder's done it again. He's done that a couple of times. Neil Goslin. <laughs> Dan yeah, just walked right over and with a high five and said, sorry, Leo. <laughs> so that'll make the 10th box worth $75. Eight box for Neil Goslin. Here's Dan Broder's strike. This was a good looking ball right from the start. Yeah, just a matter of if the five pin was going to go or not for the strike, and it did. Rich Hallberg in the tenth. Now Leo, up to the left. One to the... Well, they both went to the left. I'm not sure either one of them has a makeable shot necessarily, but Leo has the best of the two, certainly. Well, that's the danger there. Leo gets nine on his strike. Rich is a nine in the box for a 119. And Leo finishes with a 10 for a 113. And remember, this is a $75 skin here, so the 10 stands for the moment as Neil and Dan come up. Neil, or uh, rather Dan Broder, will be working on a strike. Neil Goslin could take the lead with a mark. And he's got a spare opportunity. And so does Dan with a triangle, three, four, five. <laughs> Neil, nothing but the six pin showing. Well, there's one spare. Now, if Dan can match it, we'll have another carryover. 
No, instead it's a $75 skin for Neil Gosselin, his first of the day. Dan Broder finishes with the 10 for a 114, and now the fill ball for Neil Gosselin. That's a five for a 124. Just 11 pins from first to last here after game one. This seems to be the trend over recent weeks. It's just up for grabs. One game to go here on Candle Pin Skins. We'll be back in a minute. Game two, and Leo Gendro again to start it. Good looking first ball, but look at the leaf. 5'10, <laughs> no wood. At least no playable wood. Oh, gave it a run. Takes the nine. Everybody got on the uh, skins scoreboard in that first game. Leo Gendro, the skins leader right now, he won five of them all on a carryover, good for $80. Neil Gosselin, two skins for 75. Rich Hallberg, one skin for 25. Dan Broder, two skins for $20 in that first game. And Rich Hallberg gets on the board with a spare in the first. Difficult spare too with a sleeper in the back. The nine pin. This is a $10 skin here to open game two. Well, good chance for Dan to match that mark. The one three. Got to watch the cap. You certainly do. I don't know if that wood can carry both of them or not. No. Nope. He tried to go on the left hand side of the head pin, which probably was the was the idea. Oh, well, there it was. Now here's near Neil Goslin. Neil on for the third week in a row. And getting a pretty good mix here on a light hit. Well, <laughs> I thought maybe the nine would go, but. One, eight, nine left. A couple pieces of wood in behind, one behind the head pin and one in front of the, or next to the eight pin. Should help him. And he has the skin with it. Taking the money away from Rich Hallberg. And here it is. Got that back kick on the wood to knock out the nine pin. So now a $20 skin here in the second. Four horsemen plus the nine, eight pin for Leo Gendro. Mini high low jack here, the 3810. And he gets out with a nine. Again, the scores at the bottom of the screen are the cumulative two game totals as we move down through this second game so you can keep an idea on where everybody is. Rich Hallberg fills his spare with just four and leaves himself a difficult spare leave to make it two in a row. Nope. Nice and he's out with an eight. Nice out, Rich. And now Neil Goslin, who was leading to begin this second game, working on a spare. Or rather, uh, Dan Broder, I take Take it back. Neil will be next. 
getting a little ahead. Dan liked the idea of working on a spare, <laughs> even though he wasn't. Three, six, ten with the eight pin. No wood for Dan. Oh boy, good try. Split the three and the six. Wasn't able to corral the eight pin though. Well, three open frames. The ten is good though for Dan Broder right now, unless Neil Goslin takes it away. And now Neil will work on his spare. And if he gets another one, he'll win this $20 skin, too. Oh, look out. Oh, wow. He does strike in big fashion. Spare. <laughs> yeah, <you're all> fun. <laughs> His first strike of the day. Nice ball. No question about that one. You're on 30. Big pocket hit. No question about that one. $20 more for Neil Gosselin. Leo Gendro, look out. That close to a strike. Seven pin left. Wood looked like it was going to be frozen against the seven, and then it rolled all the way out of the way, and Leo couldn't catch it. That really looked like it was going to be wood frozen on the seven pin. Was the one he wanted. Rich takes the half Worcester plus an extra. Still has the one, six, and seven remaining. And it's an eight. And it's 30, even 30 pins after three boxes. You can see the scores, very, very close. Neil Goslin in the driver's seat right now, having the lead coming in, and he started with two marks. Dan Broder's had only two marks all day. We'll have another shot at one here. Three, six, ten. Three, six, ten for Dan and the spare. Oh, no, that no. One's left. Hold it. And it's a nine. So, Neil Goslin with a chance to steal another one. No marks up there. Leo's 10 is the high score right now here in the third. This is a $10 skin. Big money, of course, will come in the later stages of the game, but... Neil is probably more concerned with the lead right now, and there's a double strike. Well, he's putting himself in great position right now. Already with the lead, and now a double strike. He's had one on each pocket. No doubt about either one of them either. It's a double strike, and that was after a spare, so he's perfect this game. And it's also a $10 skin. Neil now has $105. Five skins won at this point. Leo Gendro, oh, good looking second ball. Didn't carry the five. The first box I threw two. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Go get him, Rich. Nine bucks. <laughs> they did uh, in the other game. Yeah. We had a few ten wins. Uh, Neil Goslin is going to have a pretty sizable lead if he does anything on that first ball and the double strike, but it is wide open for second place right now. Two pin for Rich Hallberg to shoot at for the spare. Rich Hallberg in second place at the moment, but not by much. No. Get that 10. Come on, Dan. 
And it's still there. A nine. A couple of nine boxes. Dan Broder just catching the pocket. He almost had the same leave he had a moment ago. It's time to 310. A piece of wood behind the three pin. For the spare? Yes. Great shot. Dan struggled a little bit today. That's only his third mark. Much needed right there. Terrific shot. And maybe enough to win the $15 skin here in the fourth, unless Neil can match it or top it with a triple strike. He's already thrown two. Oh, he got that ball in there. Three strikes in a row for Neil Goslin. All he wanted to do was make sure he hit the head pin so that he got a nice fill, and he just drilled another one. You can see, just tripping that four pin. Almost a perfect strike. Already at 80 through four, and he's got some bonus balls to work on. And he has really drawn himself out as far as total pinfall goes. This is gonna be a battle for second right now. Neil obviously winning that $15 skin as he's won the last three with those strikes. I think Neil likes this format. <laughs> that would be my guess anyway. 10 box for Leo Gendro. He's still looking for his first mark here in the second game, but neither Rich nor Dan have been able to do much of anything either, so it's still very, very tight. <laughs> Rich Hallberg. Oh, high low jack here. One, one seven ten. Two pieces of wood, one between the one and the ten, and one also between the one and the seven. Yes. Yes. Great shot. Terrific spare for Rich Hallberg. Hard to tell, but he might have made that without the wood. Well, important ball for Dan Broder, working on a spare. No, and he lost it to the left. Just two. Well, we may have an historic occasion here in just a second because no one has ever on the wins thrown four strikes in a row on any of our shows. But Neil Goslin will have a shot at it. Of course, if he'd thrown the triple over on the Sunday show, he would have won <laughs> some money. <laughs> and here we go. Spare triple strike. A spare up for Rich there to uh, possibly win this skin, which is worth $15, but I wouldn't say that's too safe the way Neil has been throwing. Three strikes in a row. For four. Boy, <laughs> look pretty good on the way. Seven drop, three, six, and seven left. No wood really to play. Actually, that one in the center might have, might have come into play. Neil's going to be over 100 for a half, though. I think that's the first time we've ever had that, too. Neil Goslin is at 103 through, I make it 104, I beg your pardon. Uh, no, 103 it is, through five boxes. And he is in the lead, but there's a three-way battle for second here on Candlepin Skins. We'll be back in a moment. All the excitement of uh, Rich Neil Gosselin's score. I neglected to mention that Rich Hallberg won that skin, <laughs> that fifth box skin, worth $15. But Neil Gosselin at 103 through 5. Thanks to the triple strike. The battle has been joined for second place now. 
Yeah, and the advantage right now, at least, to Rich Hallberg, but it's still very, very close. Leo Gendro still fighting to find his mark ball here in the second game. Rich Hallberg now working on a mark. Seven pin drop, three, four, five left the triangle. Trying to make it two in a row and put a little more pressure on Dan Broder. No. Next Saturday, of course, our two high scorers here today will return with the two top finishers in a roll-off that, as of right now, has yet to be held. So we don't know who our two bowlers will be added in next week. Dan Broder, full on the head pin this time. This a $15 skin here in the sixth box. Trying to split the two and the four. That's and the wow. 10 bucks. No matching 10s. It'll take a mark for Neil or else it'll carry over. <laughs> oh, mark for Neil. He's got the skin. He should be real loose right now. The score is definitely in his favor and he's throwing just a dynamite ball right now look out for this wood yeah, it might ruin wood. the shot look out for the wood now Neil wants it to get out of the way and it looks like it will yep it's gonna stay over there clean shot at the five and he's got it for the spare and that's another skin worth $15 for Neil Gosling, who's really taking over here in game two. He's up to $135 now. We move to the seventh, worth $25. Pretty greedy now. You got, you got plenty. Yeah, you, got a good, you got a good run, Dan. Wow, no luck there, Leo. Boy, that and Leo fun. still looking for his first mark. Come on, Richie. Come on, Richie. 64 through 7. Go ahead. Come on, Go ahead. Rich just 11 pins ahead of Dan Broder for that second spot. And there it is. Strike in the seventh. First strike of the match for Rich Hallberg. Couldn't have come at a better time. One, two pocket, looks like a triangle, and then the three, six, and then the three falls into the six for the strike. Dan Broder really needs a mark now. Hello. <laughs> It's a possibility. He's got to get the seven pin clean, though. And try to turn that wood. Nope, not deep enough. Didn't get down there deep enough. Ten bucks. No, it's a $25 skin for Rich Hallberg, unless Neil Gosselin takes it away. <laughs> with a matching strike. Let's go, let's go for a minute. <laughs> not, not throwing good at all. Uh, feels it. Man, oh, wow. It looked, Neil had a spinning piece of wood come off the wall, and something hit it, I believe, and prevented it from taking any more pins. That's a seven on a spare. Oh, no. Doesn't get the follow-up, though. Doesn't want to go. And that gives the skin to Rich Halbert. It does for $25. Yeah. Ten bucks for Neil. Here's the first ball. Watch that wood off the side, and it was hit in the back. That might have taken some more. We move to the eighth. Another $25 skin, and Leo Gendro trying desperately to make something happen here. 
in the gutter. He is uh, 18 pins behind Rich Hallberg, plus Rich still has a strike to fill. No, this wood will not affect the shot, but it may be eliminated anyway. Cindy's going to take a look at it. Looks like it's out of play, and it is. Leo Gendro has not marked since the ninth box of the first game. He did win that big carryover skin in the first game worth $80, though. No, nope. shot, Leo. Still looking for it. No, he shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. And Leo with a nine, and you saw him turn away. He just isn't able to find the range. <clears throat> no, you hit the object pin that time and just drove that pin right straight back and really needed to mark desperately there. Looks now it's boiling down to Rich and Dan. Rich got the strike. And now he's going to have a big fill as well. Nice ball. I think you just saw Rich kind of glance to the ceiling like, oh no, that wood's going to be my way. But it's now moving to the right. And he's going to have a clear shot at the 5-8. For the spare? No. He picks it. That leaves Dan Broder still alive for that second spot, but he's going to need some marks. Down by 20 right now. Thirty, including the extra ten box there, but twenty in completed frames. Boy, good first ball, and it'll be a nine drop. And the two pin left. Almost a must for Dan. And he's got it. Big spare in the eighth that keeps him alive. Neil Goslin has this thing pretty well wrapped up, as you can tell, with a 40-pin lead, plus whatever he gets in this box over Rich Hallberg. This strike would take the skin away from Dan Broder. Spare would carry it over. Nope. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have a shot at the spare here. Boy, that wood is a little Looks tricky. Yep. Might have trouble with the 7-pin unless he can come up high in the wood. Where well, the two pieces of wood meet might be a nice place. That looks good. Right about there. Well, I think at this point, Dan doesn't care as much about the skin as he does about the fact that he needs to catch up. So this is a carryover now. The ninth box is worth $50. Leo Gendro. He needs strikes to uh, help his position. I'm sure he'd take a chance with a spare for the skin anyway. Well, with the wood behind the two pin like that, um, he's going to have a chance. Still wants to hit it on the left hand side if he could. Ten box. Gives him 83. Still no mark in this last game. But all eyes now are focused on Rich Hallberg. And he could make it very difficult on Dan Broder with a mark here. Any kind of a mark. But the reason, reverse side of that is that he doesn't want to have a bad frame. Let Dan back into it without the benefit of the mark. Good oh, try. He almost made it. Well, what this means is if Dan Broder can put another mark here on the board, that battle for second will go probably down to the last box. First order of business now is to have a decent fill. Seven, eight, nine, or a strike would be uh, great as far as Dan's concerned, and that would give him that second mark as you talked about. He's on the head. Oh, pass. there it That's is. A strike. Wow. What a clutch strike that was for Dan Broder. Not much doubt about it either. Watch. There it is. Perfect strike. Climbs to within 10 pins. And, of course, Rich Hallberg is open in the eighth, uh, ninth, and Dan will be working on the strike. Oh, look out. 
And Neil Goslin cannot get yes! yes! Oh, oh. Dan was counting the money. Oh, Neil apologizes. That was so much fun for a minute. It's a carryover. And that means our last skin of the day will be worth $100. So a lot riding on this last box. A lot of money in skins. And also the match. As everyone knows by now, Neil Goslin is safely in for next week. But the uh, fight for second between Rich Hallberg and Dan Broder is still alive. Very much alive. An eight box for Leo Gendro, a 91, and a two game total of 204. Just a victim, that's all. But Leo got that big $80 skin in game one, so he won't walk out of here empty handed with his $50 bonus. He'll get $130 for his uh, first appearance on Candlepin Skins. Rich Hallberg really needs a mark the way does, Dan Broder is rolling. Let's see. Oh, oh what a great shot. Oh, what a terrific attempt. What a bit. Nice N try. Now all he'll be able to do is watch. This is a big pin, though. Yep. If Rich makes this for a 10, Dan will need a mark. That's right. To beat him. That's a really a big pin. No. Keep in mind, if we have a tie in total pinfall for second place, we have to roll that off. And we will roll it off one box at a time. We also have a $100 skin on the line here, too, that we don't want to forget about. And right now, Rich is in the lead with that with a nine. Dan Broder on a strike. Big first ball. He does not need to mark to take second place. He has to knock these two pins down somehow, though. There it is. That does it right there. Dan Broder has taken second place with three marks in a row to end this match. And now it's a question of whether he'll get that $100 or not. Heavy, heavy. 120 plus a ball for Dan. Well, he pulled it, but he got hey. away with it. Look at this. <laughs> it's an eight fill, 128, and a two game total of 242. Rich Hallberg wound up with 233, as you see, down at the bottom. So it'll be Dan Broder and Neil Goslin again advancing. And Neil wants a strike here. That would steal the skin away from Dan. Kind of lost in all of this is the fact that Neil has an incredible string going. Wow, a very funny hit there. And this is going to be a shot if he's going to have this wow. skin. Well, you know, it's not as bad as it looks. I mean, you have to hit the, the two I mean, pin. Yeah, you hit the two here. pin in either side, you have a chance of making this with the, with the wood placement. Uh, now I'm not so sure if this wood, the one closest to us, is not the one to take. It's tough because it moved on me and I wasn't watching where it... Let's yeah. see, he's Neil's, going for Neil's it and he's got it. it. Yes, Neil saw it. Carries it over. Well, that brings everybody back into this $100 skin now. So we will wait for Neil to fill this spare for his final score. And what a final score it's going to be. He's already at 180. What a Quiet 180. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 190! 190 for Neil Goslin. And we still have $100 to take care of. And we will do that when we come back on Candlepin Skins. Well, we have had a lot of excitement here. Leo Gendro will start our roll-off here for our last skin, $100. And poor Leo just can't get a break anywhere. Split for Rich Hallberg. You talk about breaks. Rich Hallberg hit two shots his last two frames and didn't get the spares, and it cost him that second spot. Thought he hit both of them well enough to make them. Meanwhile, Neil Goslin with that 190, that is the second highest string ever rolled on WNDS. The only higher string was 
Rick Farwell's 196 back in June of 1984. Okay, so Rich is the only one alive. That's why the zero is up there with right. Leo. Because Rich has the 10. Leo had just the 9, or the 7, I should say. So 10 is the box to beat. Well, well, it's only uh, kind of fitting. Well, if he throws 190, I think he has the inside track of here being the hottest bowlers up there, bowler up there. But he doesn't have much to shoot at either. I'd it's probably take Danny's, really. Yeah! I would. I know I would. <laughs> That's worth $100 if Neil doesn't make this. And this is a very difficult shot. <laughs> Neil turned around and said, oh yeah, this is an automatic. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he it! He it! Oh, keep going. Dan Broder and Neil Goslin will change lanes and keep going for one more box. Here's the replay. So it'll be alternate shot, Neil and Dan to decide this thing. Wow. <laughs> Neil to shoot first now. Remember the fills does not matter. Oh, that one Dan Broder wins it with the strike. He'll take that $100 skin. And he will also be back next week and we will talk about it and have all the totals for you when we return on Candlepin Skins. All right, real quickly, here's the money situation. Neil Goslin on top with 135. Dan Broder wins that last big skin for 120 total. Leo Gendro had the one big skin in the first game. And uh, Rich Hallberg also got on the board with 65. Here's the pinfall. And as we look at the scores, Dan, uh, Neil Goslin and Dan Broder again will advance to next week, but lost in all this, uh, that excitement of the second place finish at the end. Neil Goslin, a 190 second highest game we've ever had here on the wins. Yeah, real uh, quiet 190, and, uh, and poor Rich hit two, two shots the last two boxes and uh, came in third. More great skins excitement coming up next Saturday at noon. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon, another championship match on Candlepin Stars and Strikes at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. It'll be John Plant against Paul Berger. Again, thanks for sharing part of your holiday weekend with us, everybody. For Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Enjoy the rest of the holiday.